What's going on guys, Austin Richo here, back again playing Jurassic World Evolution, continuing on with our gameplay here on Isla Takano, of course the island we moved to in the last episode, so of course I have made some updates and changes going on here, and again I cannot remember, I've got bad memory issues and I can't remember what we had got done in the last episode, um, but I have added some new stuff I know for sure, um, so in the last episode I think I had one of these missions about a Draco Rex, so I made a Draco Rex pin over here, so we got a couple of them over in this pin, so I just have a little pin area there, then of course I added stuff here because it wanted, uh, you know, more stuff because one of the things was increase one of the missions, while well, I was on here just messing around with stuff that I will show you in a second. Um, it asked, you know, increased guests, so I put down some more hotels, so we have a hotel there and there, and then of course just filling in some stuff as things are needed over here, and then just coming over this way, just added more power stations and everything going along in there, and of course increase this road at, uh, increase it to the wider road, because there were transportation issues, which of course we will be putting a monorail down at some point as the park progresses, not exactly sure when. But of course over here just to get some luck so we have some Triceratops, the Crinosaurus, those are the things I chose last time just because they had a, um, I could afford and had the highest rating. Some Cynoceratops and Struthiomimuses I believe, yeah Struthiomimuses. So then I added this pin here just to you know add another pin to get stuff going in and then this one here that I can throw stuff into as well if I need to but there is so I've have these two things here which are fine but I do have a mission going on here let's go to yeah this one it's for the notosaur so incubate a diplodocus and a velociraptor so I will do the veloci oh um, so the thing that I was working on off screen was I was just going through and getting all of the dinos that I have so far up to 100%. So I was just continuously going out and getting fossils and everything and just uh, expeditions and everything. Getting everything to 100%. So we're all good on that. So of course that gave us a lot of money in the process too. Because you know selling a bunch of stuff. So we got $56 million there. So we're doing really good. So we need a Velociraptor. And I'm pretty sure I went through everything. I'm pretty sure I did. And I just got the best options possible. Yeah, for a lifespan and everything. So everything's going to live as long as possible. So of course we need more than one. So we'll go ahead and incubate a couple of those. I think they need three. Let's go ahead and switch out the speed to a hatchery capacity and we'll add another one just to get all the velociraptors going hopefully three is enough I'm pretty sure I think is like the minimum then over here we'll do the diplodocus which I'll just have to leave in here until I uh, can get a space because I'm pretty sure it won't be able to fit in here I think space wise It'll be too much. It'd be nice to move it into here, but like I said, I think it may not be enough. I may work on this fence a little bit. Just had, obviously, some issues here. There we go. Good enough. So there we have this whole thing set up. I could probably sit, depending on if I can, put the Diplodocus in there. Because that seems like a lot of room for the Diplodocus. Um, and this, I did the electric fence because I obviously am planning on keeping uh, carnivores in here so hopefully that electric fence will be good enough for everything so I put the thing there and so I may want to put a visual thing over here let's go ahead and no I always forget where they put the visual I feel it'd always be under guess oh that thing's huge but oh well so we got the velociraptors ready uh, we'll wait till that other one gets done how much longer does the diplodocus have Oh my god, take it forever. What do I have on here? Yeah, I've got all those things. Just take it forever. Hopefully, I think everything should be fine because I think, yeah, they have room for population. And, ooh, they're like right on the edge of population. Ooh. So I could move them over here, but I think I would like the Diplodocus over here more. Because that seems like a lot of room for a Diplodocus to me. <laughs> um... I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can maybe add, again, I can't see if we can add one of these down here maybe 
for some reason won't go because of the weird terrain. Okay, um, are they all done now? Yes, they are. So we will release, release, and release. So we have all of the Velociraptors, and of course they don't have any feeding pins, so we gotta throw... Oops, there's our transmission. Isla Pin... Oh, Isla Pin... It's like, what did I do? Isla Pin is unlocked, apparently. Yes, which is the pain in the butt island. Which we're staying here because we just started on this. So let's go ahead over here. Add that there and we'll add one over here as well and of course I know the Velociraptor needs forest yes forest you need hide in the trees um, hide you in there place some trees there some trees over here I don't like how that like blocks the view of the Velociraptors, but of course the only thing that matters is our viewing platforms. Oh, now we're low on grasslands. So let's take out some of these trees. Deforest time. How about now? Still need more grasslands. More grasslands. Is that now it's oh still not enough oh we're good with forest we just need a little bit of forest my bad I should have been paying attention to that we'll go ahead and get rid of thin out some of these trees out here that should be good because this pin should definitely be big enough yeah for them uh, I should have looked are there grasslands or forest yeah forests are still good so let's go ahead and get out a little take out a little more how are they now yeah they're good so we got more grassland above four so there we got our velociraptors and now our diplodocus should be good to go because i think they're pretty good by themselves there we go we got the diplodocus coming out and then we'll go ahead and Sure, why not? I can easily do that. And we'll go ahead and trank that guy out. And hopefully move it over here and see how it fits in with everything. So we'll go ahead and increase this area. Oops, no, we need to add water. So I'll add a bunch of water there for it. Then we'll, add, uh, we'll go ahead and add a feeder in first which is here keep it here in the center close to the visual for people and then we will add trees everywhere because I know it needs trees there we go hopefully that will be good enough for it and then I like the door right there I may try and take out this tree there we go got the little door open there and that is down so let's see if we can oh so we have a velociraptor oh so we have to keep them below threshold so that means I can take out some forest. Of course, then we'll have three to worry about. Once we get the Diplodocus move, we'll worry about that. Actually, we'll see how it's doing uh, threshold-wise, because I may just work on one at a time, so that way we're not, you know, having issues. So we need to apply a dig speed upgrade. There we go. We got that one done. And we'll just switch it back to you. No, we'll just leave it because I've unlocked everything. So the only thing would be the new dino that we unlock. 
Oh, we got the entertainment mission. It makes the world go round, and it's what makes this next assignment so interesting. I really think you should take a look. Okay, we'll do that. Sure, we'll do. Are we doing two missions at once? Incubate and release Mazhor. Okay, gotcha. Because I don't think we have any. Yeah, I did all the research stuff. What do we got over here? Ooh, we got locations. Oh, Isla Pena. And Raptor training facility. Yes, yes, yes. Let's check out the Diplodocus. Diplococcus. Whatever you call it. Diplodocus. What do you... Okay, you need more grasslands. More forest and grasslands. So that means you are not going to fit in this place at all. So we're going to do this. We're going to let the Diplodocus... Be angry. Um, where's our mission thing? I want to see our mission. Okay. Based on your latest research, we should be able to have some new dinos that Did I lose the thing? Then we'll see if it was worth it. <laughs> new dinosaur. Oh, dang it. Did I like oh, My gosh. So did that take over? Okay, we're going to have to I did not know that was going to happen. I hope I don't have to do <laughs> more. Okay. Um, I keep still. I'm just clicking all the wrong buttons as I tend to do here. So let's go in here. Nope. We need this one. Yes. That's the one we're working on. Okay. We'll go ahead and do another Velociraptor, I guess. And another Diplodocus. Okay. While I may disagree with his methods and motivations, I'm also fully aware that Dr. Wu won't stop until he can run his stress test with the dinosaurs you need to provide. I thought you could do two at a time. So that kind of is disappointing. So let's go over here. I think it's these Krinosauruses, yeah, that have population issues. Let's go ahead and... Trank them. And we need to meet no them. shoot. In fact, that is precisely what we are doing, y'all. Science is not. A Get off of each other. Box. For us, there is no. Box. There we go. Got the tr crying the there and crying there. Animals. So we'll take those out, and then we'll also so trank that, and we'll switch them around. Put those over there. Then we'll do all the diplodocus stuff over here. So hopefully, they can survive over here and everything. Blah, blah, blah. Stop arguing, everybody. Go ahead and try this small power station thing just to get this out of the way. Just throw it over here somewhere with all the other power. Oh, yeah. I can't fit it in there. Try not to take up all the room so I can put, like, you know, cages and or whatever over here. There we go. Good enough. So we'll get that mission done and out of the way so that we'll have to worry while we're waiting for the other stuff to craft up there. And then we will smooth out the area. Just smooth it all out because our parks look horrible without being smooth. They're all bumpy and ridgy and all sorts of stuff. Okay. How's the stuff going over here? Okay, so that is knocked out. So we'll transport this over here, this one over here, and that one over here somewhere. There we go. And we'll have to make sure if they need less trees and everything. Let's go ahead and take out some of the trees. There we go. Okay. Not done. Come on, Velociraptor. You guys are all good right now.
It's raining in the game. It's raining in the game. We got storms. It's so close. 87%. How's the Diplodocus taking forever? 60%. These things take forever. I hope the Diplodocus, obviously it'll probably need more trees, which I'm hoping that doesn't upset. Oh, they have plenty of room for grasslands and forest and all that sort of stuff, so they should be fine. Trikes, yeah, you're pretty easy. And of course, Truth and Mimuses can live pretty much wherever. So I have to see if everything's going all fine and dandy. Oh yeah, we can get rid of that thing. Need to put in uh, this one. Right there. There we go. And then we'll need to put in a tree one over here. Where could we put a tree? Maybe right here? Now let's check it out. Oh, it's got just enough forest wide, just a little more over in this area. Just a little tiny bit, just to help it out a little. I feel that didn't like add too much to it. There we go. How's it going now? Yeah. Plenty of forest, plenty of grasslands, all that stuff, and I can't click. Where's the sign up there? The most picky. Oh, yeah, they're full on forest and grasslands. Trikes, yeah, full on forest and grasslands. You've got everything you need. Everything's all good and dandy here in our happy land park. So I think the yeah, Velociraptor is done. There we go. Velociraptor, all happy. So. Come on, there we go. It's like I need more of a top view. So okay, I say hopefully since it's over 80%, as the mission says, it's good, but it does. So now we can start worrying about their comfort. So we should probably what should I do? Take out force maybe? Because say we can worry about the Velociraptors first. Well, once that mission comes up, don't want to start it now. And the Diplodocus is ready. Okay. Let's check out. I'm pretty sure they have. Yeah, population's pretty big. One minimum for uh, social, and now we've got two. So the social should be pretty dang good on it. We've got us a pretty little lady here. Or, I assume it's a lady. Most dinosaurs in Jurassic Parks are women, so I assume it's a pretty little lady. So, once that registers, should be here in a second. Any day now. There it goes. Okay, so now we can worry about making them unhappy. And like I said, I guess we'll go ahead and start with the... Capture and contain any... So we'll go ahead and yeah, start with these ones first. So we'll just take out the trees. Take out the trees. Are you unhappy now? There it goes. I was like, should be unhappy. We'll just completely remove everything. Nothing in here that makes you happy. So I've got four I've got to worry about. We may want to go ahead and open emergency shelters. I know, wait till they start attacking the fences, maybe. Yeah, their comfort's dropping very slow. This may take a little bit, so I may have to leave until they start getting angry and everything. Of course, they have such a small comfort threshold. I may not tell you, but yeah, once they start attacking, I'll bring it right back so you can see them getting angry. Okay, so the Velociraptor that we have to worry about is now below threshold. And I guess I could actually go ahead and just uh, trank all of the non ones just so because yeah that's our science one that we have to keep and I went ahead and double layered all our fences so they should have issues breaking out so yeah, I got the heavy steel which I had to go inside oh yeah I forgot to open all the shelters there we go get inside people 
But hopefully the thing will trank out all of the, all but the non science one. Get inside people, run inside. Yes, yeah, so there's our science one there. Yes, we've got a dinosaur that I know. Oh wow, that broke out really fast. Wow, they broke out. That must have been like a weak spot or something. Gotta add the task. Repair the fence. Run everyone. <laughs> so where's the science one? We gotta get it back. I think it's so one, three, two. Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay, so as long as we keep that one alive, or not alive, but roaming around and everything, we should be able to go ahead and just leave those for now. Should have done the inside one first and then the outside. I'm surprised like it broke through there so easily just like bam bam right through. <laughs> Let's see if we can go ahead and oh, dang, wrong one. add another layer maybe? I don't get the too close besides that thing too close to dinosaur. Oh well. We'll just leave that there. Just add more defenses. Where did the guy go? Did I not do the right thing? Nope. So we're about just got to do another minute and 19 seconds and then of course keep it contained. And like I said, we'll just leave them all here so that way they uh, won't be an issue to worry about. Or see, once we get to this one, it won't be an issue because um, I mean they'll escape but we won't have to worry about uh, causing issues okay it's got to go below threshold again which will take a few seconds so it is uncomfortable again so it's counting down we've got a minute it's just crazy how f easily they break out. Request received. Responding to repair. Yes, break that one. Yes, attack that one now. It keeps you inside the base. We're under a minute now. Are you gonna get in there? Or just sit outside the... Shoot, if I could learn how to... Oh no, there it's now attacking the... Come on, six seconds. There we go, we did it. Okay. So the Velociraptor is done. Now we can delete all that stuff, get more tr trees added in here. Nope, there it goes. And it broke out again. Oh shoot, add that. Nope, there we go. Yes, it did repair that. Shoot, that was the wrong one. I think I keep deleting all, yep, I'm deleting all of the wrong walls. Okay, it's 
to replace this and then we'll work on the diplodocus to finish it out here. Okay, so now it's time for the diplodocus. What do you need? Probably forest would be the easiest thing to get rid of. Okay. Time to deforest this place. How does that do? You like that? Uh, just a little more. Oh shoot, sounds like hitting walls. What are you angry about? You shouldn't be angry about anything. It's not showing you're angry about anything. Go ahead and close all the shells. Get all the people back out in the park. Hopefully that'll be fine. Okay. Okay, so the force is down. So now it's time to play the waiting game again on the Diplodocus and wait for their comfort, which that's the one we need to worry about. So I'll go ahead and do the thing again. Oh, shoot, where I trank out the other one just so I know which one's which and I don't have to worry about it. And we'll leave the science one up to run around and everything. So once that gets up, I'll bring it right back. Okay, and so the Diplodocus is finally under the comfort level. So I still have that one knocked out. But we've got that one finally uncomfortable. I went ahead and put all the electric fences out. And apparently we have feeders out. I swear I asked to do that one earlier. Oh well. So now we've just got to play the waiting game for three minutes. Let's see. It's about to go to the fence. I'm pretty sure the inside one's the electric. I don't know how they like electric fences. So I'll have to see. It's not really going towards it too much it's okay I'm sorry to torture you like this Diplodocus it'll be all right I want to see it attack the finch just to see what happens it's gonna go over here resupply I need to make of course it wouldn't work now but like a connection over here between the two And it, I don't know if it's going to do anything. We'll just, I guess, have to wait and see. We've got a minute and 20 seconds left. Oh, I was like, what's going on here? But I forgot I, a Draco Rex died, so I put in Cray, uh, incubated a new one. Forgot about that. So, of course, all I did, as you saw, was take a bunch of trees out. And it did its whole thing, making everything mad. Velociraptors are doing fine. Everything's good over there. Just this Diplodocus that, of course, is not attacking fence because, like I said, it must be because of the electric fence or something. It doesn't do anything to it. Like, it senses it's electric, so it won't hit it, which, of course, is awesome. It's nice to know that's one way to deter them, but you never know. I could be wrong. I don't know that whole, mu uh, whole lot about it, but hopefully this will be our last step of this process. 30 seconds to go. And then we'll get the Notosaur unlocked and then we can end off today. We got that mission done. Of course, three missions throughout the park. Of course, we did see the second one there, the entertainment one. Yeah, acquire that yeah, by way of the incubate those certain dinos, which, of course, we'll work on next time in the next episode. Are you there? It's six seconds. Four, three, two, one. There we go. Now let's see. Did that get our mission? Nope. Okay, so now we got to get it back up. Go ahead and get rid of that. Now we got to delete all this stuff. Probably over here is the best because there were a bunch of trees over this way. And this may take a while to get it back up above unless it's super easy. How about now? Are you good now? There we go. Now it's just got to increase its comfort. Which hopefully it won't attack these last remaining fences here. So it's got to get up to 40. Go ahead and delete this one, little one over here. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, and forty. There we go. We got it up to threshold, and we got our mission complete. There we go. Confinement studies. 
to no to source unlock so now I can start working on getting that incubated go ahead and uh wake that one up now yes but I'm amazing at this game not really I kind of suck at it the eggheads there we go oh, last one there we go we're all back to normal here at Jurassic World I was going to say Jurassic Park, but it's Jurassic World. So that's going to be it for the episode today. Oh, of course, we got new research. Let's go ahead and look at this real quick. Where's our new research? Notosaurus. Do we got any others? Because we have all sorts of... We have three teams now, and we can only send it at one place. What about anywhere else, Scott? Notosaur? Nope. Notosaur. Nope. Doesn't look like there's Notosaurs anywhere else besides that one location. How about over here? Nope. Baryonyx. Notosaur? Nope. Nope. No, no, nope. So apparently you only have the one location to unlock them, which will be fine. And hopefully we can, uh, I can do it enough to be able to unlock it and everything not run out or whatever, have these check marks or the red there. So that's going to be it for the episode today. Of course, we got the, uh, inner, no science mission complete. A contract just landed on my desk. Sure. Why not? Now that we got the one that, um, so we got the science Mission complete, unlocking the Notosaur, so that is awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this episode today. Maybe a little bit long, not exactly sure, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more Jurassic World Evolution. We got our Kratnosaurus over here doing just fine in this little thing. But I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to see more of our videos, especially Jurassic World Evolution, because I absolutely love this game so much. It's just my most favorite game right now. But thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.